Hello everyone. Uh, this is Suyesh here. So now in this video we are going to discuss about our eighth uh, eighth pair of cranial nerve. Okay, in the peripheral uh, nervous systems part. Okay, so in this video we are going to discuss uh, uh, about our basic uh, overview of our vestibular cochlear nerve, and we will go into detail about our auditory pathway. Okay. So we will be discussing uh, the vestibule, uh, vestibular nerve and the cochlear nerve, both the nerve, but we will be discussing separately the pathway of our auditory. The vestibular pathway we will discuss in our, another video separately. Okay, so uh, now uh, as you know, this vestibular cochlear nerve is the eighth pair of cranial nerve and it is sensory nerve and it has two parts. It is con concerned with two functions. First, uh, by the name it is clear that vestibulo, vestibulo you know that it is concerned with static balance. The parts of ear uh, which are concerned with this function, that is static balance, are utricle and sacul, uh, saculi. Okay, and the cochlear part, uh, cochlear. So cochlear is, as you know, cochlear is concerned with our hearing. Okay, auditory impulses. So this is uh, uh, done by the part of ear called as organ of cotai or cochlea. Cochlea is a part of organ of cotai. Okay, so uh, it has two parts. It is sensory now. It has three neurons. It can be. It is conscious. Uh, conscious now, and. Uh, so now let's begin uh, with the basic overview how your uh, actually how you, this vestibular cochlear nerve actually receives the impulses so as you know that uh, from the auricles the uh, hearing impulses or sound impulses comes to your ear and then reaches your external acoustic meters then it is now just pushed by a connective tissue that is a tympanic membrane then there is vibration in the tympanic membrane then this tympanic, mem uh, tympanic membrane actually stimulates our uh, ear ossicles this is, that is a malleus and cursus and stapes and further this stapes uh, actually uh, just vibrates the perilimbs that's the fluid areas in the ears that is uh, fluid filled vibrations so these fluid filled uh, vibration through our perilimbs is now uh, goes to the basilar membrane to the auditory cells of the ears which are concerned with receiving the uh, auditory impulses okay so on the basilar membrane uh, there is cells uh, that is inner and outer hair cells which are concerned with these receiving these impulses okay so further these impulses are now carried through our vestibular cochlear nerve to the cortex region okay so these actually comes from outside and just controlled by the cortex region primary auditory cortex okay so this was the basic overview okay so we will now begin with how the cochlear nerve is formed and what is the pathway so as you know that this is a, your uh, semicircular canal and it has utricle, saccule, ampulla with cristae. So these are actually the parts of ear which are concerned with balancing. Okay, and this is your uh, cochlea, which has organ of cotai, which is concerned with your hearing. Okay, so we will only discussing, uh, we will discussing main or cochlear now. Okay, in this video, but I will tell both the nerves and its nucleus, which are concerned and which are present in the medulla. Okay, so actually the uh, impulses which are received by the fibers actually the. So just consider, uh, I will just label this as your semicircular canals semi circular canal and this is your cochlea with organ of cortex okay with organ of cortex okay with organ of cortex okay and this area is actually your utricle this is your utricle and this is your saccule okay and these areas above one are ampullas, okay, with Christi, Christi, okay. So these are actually structures which are concerned with vestibular, that is balance, okay. So actually what happens with the vestibular nerve, uh, vestibular nerve, it has two parts, this vestibular cochlear nerve has consists of two parts, vestibule, uh, vestibular and cochlear. So it is, uh, and further these two parts combines and form the vestibular cochlear nerve after uh, exiting through your internal acoustic meatus, okay. So we will not, I will tell you the, how the impulses are received, okay. So just consider the impulses are coming from here. Okay, some impulses are coming from here and some are coming from the ampullas and some from semicircle. And they are forming a bunch of your vestibular nerve like this. Okay, all the fibers. So then million, uh, the hundreds of fibers like this and they further form your vestibular nerve. Okay, so before forming the vestibular nerve, there is a ganglion actually. So here it is, there is a ganglion present. So this ganglion name is actually vestibular ganglion or you can say it as scarpa's ganglion okay scarpa's ganglion and it is a bipolar ganglion so it will be having a peripheral process and the central process so peripheral process is just linked with your uh, these utricle and saccules uh, taking impulses from the ear and the central process will go into your central nervous system that is in the medulla part and to the cortex area okay so this was the ganglion and this was its central process
okay so there will be hundreds of fibers like this and hundreds of ganglions like this forming from uh, many segments of the semicircle ganglia like this there will be impulses from your organ of cotti there are different regions okay and like this they all will be forming a cochlear nerve bunch of fibers and there again will be a ganglion and it is called as spiral ganglion okay so what is the name of this ganglion this is your spiral ganglion it is also a bipolar ganglion it will also having a peripheral process and your central process will go to your central nervous system okay so this actually the peripheral process is coming from your spinal uh, uh, spiral uh, spiral canal of your organ of cotti okay so these are your spiral canals so this peripheral process is coming from here and forming a ganglion and this is the central process of this uh, exons so now these exons of your first neuron so now these fibers are this cochlear nerve is actually the exons of your first neuron or exons of your spiral ganglion so these fibers these bunch of your cochlear nerve or these bunch of your vestibular nerve so these are your bunch of your scarpus ganglion exons of first neuron of scarpus ganglion and these are fibers of exons of first neuron of spiral ganglion okay so now these fibers combine together like this okay and they pass actually exists from your and passes through a petrous part of your temporal bone where there is present called as internal acoustic meatus from there they they exits and now reaches your brain stem or your central nervous system okay so this part is actually your internal acoustic meatus internal acoustic meatus okay so this is the exit place for this vestibular cochlear nerve from the uh, cranium okay now it reaches now it comes out of the cranium okay now it is in the region of your brain stem or you can say in the central nervous system okay so now this was a, they exits from here and now they reaches actually the junction of your pons and medulla or cerebropontine angle you can say so these actually these nerve nucleus are actually present at the level of your uh, pons and medulla junction or pontomedullary junction or an angle is present called as cerebropontine angle okay so further they form the second neuron or second synapses in the medulla region or junction of your pons or medulla where the nucleus are present okay so there are total six nucleus for this nerve actually and there are two parts so for vestibular nerve there will be four nucleus and for cochlear nerve there will be two nucleus okay i will be, i will tell you the names okay so now now just remember these actually these small four ones are concerned with your vestibular nerve okay so these actually go and synapse here okay the fibers are going and synapsing here okay so actually this above one is your superior nucleus this lateral is lateral nucleus and inferior one is your inferior nucleus and this one is actually your medial nucleus so these superior lateral medial and inferior vestibular nuclei are concerned with your vestibular nerve okay or vestibular part of vestibular cochlear nerve and now your uh, cochlear nerve has two nucleus okay so fibers some fibers goes to your dorsal nucleus and some fibers goes to your ventral nucleus so according to the position of medulla so this dorsal one is actually present in the posterior aspect of medulla and this ventral one is present in the anterior or the ventral aspect of medulla with respect to medulla okay okay so the second synapses or second neuron are forming in the a uh, vestibular and the cochlear nucleus okay so this is the second synapses this was the first ganglion this is the second synapses or second ganglion okay in the nucleus of this now they which are present in the junction of pons and medulla okay so i will write the name also so now till here we will discuss uh, till here uh, we will only end with our vestibular part now we will further carry our cochlear part which is concerned with our auditory pathway okay so in the vestibular uh, section we will discuss in another video separately we will discuss the tract vestibular pathway then this video we will discussing about the auditory pathway how it further goes and reaches to the uh, cortex area okay so this one is your ventral nucleus for your cochlear nerve ventral nucleus and this bigger one is your dorsal portion is your dorsal nucleus nuclei and these are your superior one this is your superior this is your medial and this lateral and inferior to so total six nucleus are present for this vestibular cochlear nerve so this is your cochlear area cochlear nerve and this is your vestibular nerve okay so this much is clear this is the basic nerve you can say this is the basic nerve after that the pathway begins for the uh, pathway for the auditory is different and the pathway for the vestibular is different okay so this is the basic vestibular cochlear nerve how it takes impulse and synapse in the uh, second neuron okay now further i will discuss about our auditory pathway okay so there are two nucleus so further uh, these actually the fibers from your dorsal nuclei actually cross or goes to the contralateral side contralateral side and 
and reaches your crosses your pons and reaches your midbrain okay in midbrain there is nucleus for your lateral lemniscus here or you can say it as lateral lemniscus okay so from here so now these are these fibers are your axons of second neuron okay so for that these fibers are axons of second neuron and some fibers goes to the epsilateral side okay like this like this and they also forms a lateral lemniscus and the nucleus of lateral lemniscus okay so lemniscus is actually bundle of tracts okay so i will uh, when the fibers uh, many fibers collects then we say it as lemniscus or bundle of axons okay or tracts so dorsal nuclei is actually crosses to the side and uh, forms the lateral lemniscus now ventral nucleus what is the function of ventral nucleus so ventral nucleus actually synapse in the superior olivary nucleus so some fibers actually goes from the contralateral side and synapse in the superior olivary nucleus so this nucleus actually name is superior olivary nucleus okay so this is present in the lower pons this is this section is in lower pons and this is a midbrain and this is a medulla okay so some fibers are going contralateral side and again from here some fibers will go to the epsilateral side and synapse in the superior olivary nucleus okay like this and here also synapses occurs in the superior olivary nucleus from the ventral nuclei okay so fibers are going from uh, fibers are going both the sides so remember this point after uh, synapses the fibers are going in the both the sides some fibers can go to the epsilateral side also some fiber can uh, fibers can cross and goes to the contralateral side okay so same will occur from the uh, just you are seeing in the left side same push same thing will be occurring in the right side also just, just consider same okay so now these are uh, these are your second synapses here now now the fiber ascends upwards okay now now as after synapses there is a crossing okay so there is a crossing okay so fibers now cross again and some fibers go straight like this okay so now this crossing is actually uh, called as trapezoid body so this section is actually your trapezoid body so just nearer to your trapezoid body there is a superior olivary nucleus so what is the name of this part this is your trapezoid body so this is actually a decussation for this auditory tract okay so this is done uh, by the fibers which are coming or auditory strips this fibers can also be called as auditory strips so these fibers actually the fibers which are coming from the ventral nuclei okay and some fibers can also grow from dorsal nuclei but most of the fibers comes from the ventral nuclei and they form the second synapse in the superior olivary uh, nucleus and further they decussate decussation occurs so fibers from the this side will go to that side so this is a contralateral so these fibers contralateral side and and from here also so number of fibers now occurs now this section after the bundle of axons it occurs okay like this now this section is called as lemniscus or lateral lemniscus okay so this is your lateral lemniscus or bundle of axons which you can see at the level of your midbrain or you can see it at the level of medulla also or pons also so it is containing the tract of uh, auditory tract okay so this is your uh, you can only see at the level of midbrain only not in the level of pons and medulla so that is medial lemniscus which you can see in all the level of your uh, brain stem lateral lemniscus can be seen at the level of your midbrain because it is a uh, tract of fibers bundle of fibers of auditory tract okay now the further uh, fibers ascends upward okay so some fibers actually synapse in the inferior colliculus nucleus which is present in the midbrain so midbrain has two colliculus superior and inferior so you know that superior is concerned with our visual section okay the fibers which comes from our optic nerve so these are fibers coming from vestibular cochlear nerve so inferior is concerned with our uh, auditory uh, reflex okay so some fibers synapse here okay so some fibers can cross also cross and go there and some fibers can go epsilateral also okay and they from here now from here there are two sections one part is called as conscious part and one part is called as unconscious part or you can say one part is called as uh, causes a uh, lemniscus pathway and one pathway can be called as non lateral lemniscus pathway so non lateral lemniscus pathway is actually called as unconscious part and conscious part is called as lateral lemniscus uh, lat uh, lateral lemniscus pathway which further goes to the cortex region or the thalamus region okay so what uh, first i will tell about you the unconscious part what is concerned with and how it happens how it the fibers now the fibers which are synapsing the inferior colliculus nucleus they send some fibers through your tacto spinal tract to the muscles of your head and neck so actually the unconscious section is concerned with a function called as when someone calls you you just uh, 
uh, speedily you move your head toward that person if someone calls you or any type of attention is given by someone's sound calling you you just move your head fastly so these reflexes which are coming uh, which are given by your auditory stimulus and they are going to your muscles actually skeletal muscles of your head and neck or eye muscles also okay when you rotate your eyes okay so these are concerned with our optic but the auditory uh, stimulus which are coming and now your skeletal muscles are moving these fibers some fibers goes to your goes through your tectospinal tract which sends the impulses to your muscles of your head and neck okay so these are actually concerned with your attentiveness or you it can be some type of emotional response also by the auditory stimulus okay you listen any type of music okay so that it can uh, respond to some emotional okay emotional feelings so it is also a part of inferior cortex concerned with that or the unconscious part okay so this actually fibers from here can go downward some fibers of this auditory tract and this fibers or this tract is called as tectospinal tract which take the fibers as a descending pathway to your motor muscles okay so it is actually involuntary tracts but it is concerned when you receives a auditory stimulus and you moves your head and neck if someone yells you or calls you or uh, speaks your name you are calling you just move your head okay so this remember this is a basic function of this uh, unconscious part of this tract now the fibers which are going upward these are called as la uh, lemniscus pathway and the bundle of tracts now they form the third axons in the medial geniculate body okay so synapses is occurring now in the medial geniculate body so medial ge geniculate body is, you know that it is present in the diencephalon region okay so these are the third neuron okay third neuron is forming in the medial geniculate body okay so now from here the set third synapses now axons of this third neuron the fibers now from uh, coming out from this medial geniculate body now goes to your primary auditory cortex so now these are your, these are your auditory fibers which are going to your cortex so what is the special name for this gyrus this gyrus has superior temporal gyrus superior temporal gyrus which is concerned primary auditory cortex or which is concerned with our auditory stimulus primary auditory stimulus or conscious part okay so this is actually the conscious part which is going to your superior temporal gyrus okay unconscious part is con uh, tell your inferior colliculus and sends the impulses through your tectospinal tract or tectonuclear tract to the muscles of muscles of your lower or upper limb okay so uh, it can be any type of function so just con consider this as these these fibers are going descending okay so these are unconscious part and concerned with your descending motor pathways okay and the fibers which are going upward ascending upwards now they are uh, reaching the cortex area in the superior temporal gyrus or it has another name called as gyrus of geschel it will be one scientist who named that by on his name it has another name called as gyrus of geschel okay so just remember this name also so now that uh, as you know the first neuron was in the vestibular uh, that is your spiral ganglion for this cochlear uh, nerve or auditory pathway the second neuron was the dorsal and ventral cochlear nuclei now these axons of fibers form the uh, third synapses uh, in the superior olivary nucleus further these axons now reaches your uh, uh, medial geniculate body where there is third uh, third order neuron or third synapses now axons of your third neuron reaches your superior ter uh, temporal gyrus where there your stimulus is received by the auditory stimulus is received okay so just remember important the decussation part is called trapezoid body okay it has three, three neurons it has both conscious and unconscious part okay and the auditory pathway okay so this was the basic pathway just remember this and the function of this pathway and vestibular we will discuss in the next video so important for this now is only the uh, auditory pathway vestibular is not uh, so much important but main function of this now is actually concerned with auditory okay so uh, just remember this auditory pathway thank you